Hey everybody, I am Trevor O'Connor. Of course, across from me is uh, the pugilist extraordinaire, Mike Gonzalez. Hey. And today is a very special day on the After the Final Bell podcast. Today is our first in-studio guest, Mr. Troy Everett. Hello. Everybody knows who you are, Troy. I would hope so. Not, not a chance, but no. hopefully they do. <laughs> Some, somebody does. At least three of Somebody them. somewhere. Yeah. There's at least two people in this room that know who I am. <laughs> One and a half. Okay, that, that works. I'll he, take. That. He said he'd heard of you. Oh, that's fine. I'll take that. And then I showed him that a picture, and he said, "No." Yeah, even if I have, I don't want to. No, that still no. counts. That still counts, though. Yeah, it, I mean, it's in there. It's in, it's in there. You, you're almost famous. Almost, it's like the movie, mm-hmm. except less. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> our friend Troy comes to us from Nova Mente Jiu Jitsu Academy. Uh, I have gone and rolled with Troy and his people several times over the last, uh, not the last year or so, but before that, I stopped through there several times. It is like the welcome home spot yeah. in like Denver Jiu Jitsu. Where is that? It's uh, in Inglewood. Okay. Off like Federal and Knoxville. And you know, okay. Inglewood, up to no good. So I gotta know some jujitsu. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be there. <laughs> or Sheridan, if you want to get real technical. Oh yeah, is that, is that Sheridan. By, that's by the old Red and Jerry's, right? Yeah, kind of right down the street. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sheridan is like eight square blocks, I think. It is. It's like four hundred people. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think it's like two thousand. But when I was an actual bounty hunter here in Colorado, I had a guy hold up in Sheridan in like um, an auto body shop. It's right out. Is it two eighty five? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right as you come off of 285, if you look over to the right, there's like three auto body shops in a row on the, I I don't know. It's right by the gym. Yeah. Right. It's right there. Anyway, a guy was holed up in there for an entire night in the middle of winter while I had like 104 (laughs) degree uh, um, temperature in. That's it was just, it was like snowing sideways in my face. It took so long to get that guy out. And I called Sheridan police and they had, like one or maybe two officers on and it yeah. was snowing. So there was forget it. Absolutely no way they were going to be able to get over there for anything. So yeah. how'd you get him out? We just waited him out, oh. waited him out. He said, screw it. I knew he was in there, but I hadn't seen the whites of his eyes to say a hundred percent he's in there. And in the, in the real bounty hunting world, if you breach a door, that's not the address of record. And your fugitive is not behind the door. You're in trouble. They call that a felony. Wow. Oh, yeah. Especially if you are um, carrying, then it becomes an enhanced <laughs> felony. Yeah. And if there are people in the st- in the structure, oh, so they start super felony. <laughs> you start adding on. You start adding right. on some prizes. So basically, you want like in that world, you want to verify two hundred percent that mm. your sense. person is behind that. I mean, I knew he was there. You just didn't, I you knew, didn't, but I had not seen his face, so yeah. I, I was not going to take that chance. Yeah, yeah. So I stood there all night. <laughs> that's uh, that's a good second and, option. Yeah, me and one of my old partners, Teddy, we stood in the snow and just waited out, huh? Yeah. That's, the good thing about awesome. tweakers, though, is they can't stand to feel, yeah, tra- like trapped, trapped in like spot. a rat in a box. Yeah, yeah they, I could hear him in there, for, like yeah. spiraling, and I was like, eh, eventually, yeah. Eventually it'll come out. Um, but anyway, that's my that's my interaction with Sheridan. It's a real solid advertisement for the area that my Sorry. gym's in. <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. No, no. no. Only the, a couple times. That was the only case I ever had yeah, in Sheridan. Yeah, everything else is sunshine and rainbows, yeah. dude. It's awesome down mm-hmm. there. No, it's like it's not bad. It's not bad at all. If you go up federal, it gets pretty bad, but yeah. Not too far. Yeah, but over where yeah, where you guys are. I felt like when I pulled into the, um, what is it, little park, uh, commercial park that you guys are in? Yeah. It was nicer than most of the industrial parks that a lot of jujitsu gyms are in. Yeah. So that's always. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Like, it's, you pull in, you're like, oh. 
I mean, All right. It's not, sounds not good. Too bad. Yeah, it's, we're not. We don't have to go in through the back entrance. We're not like doing all this sort of weird stuff. Like, right, right. Yeah, we're you right know, by the street. You don't, you, don't have to, have to, you don't have to come in yeah. like one at a time. It's not because, a speakeasy, so you're pretty good there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's and it's huge. I, I think I've seen some pictures. There's some pictures people posting. Yeah, it's like yeah. a two two story high ceiling. Yeah, it's one of those high. And it's it's yeah. it's huge. How it's, long have you guys been there for? Uh, technically since 2017. I I bought it in 2020. Oh, okay. All right. So good timing. Nailed it, dude. Feb- <laughs> February of 2020. Oh, was, oh, perfect yeah, timing. Was, perfect timing. <laughs> literally couldn't have gone better. I feel great <laughs> all the time. <laughs> not stressed out at all, ever. Nobody, yeah. there was no there was no issues. None, no none, not no one. issues whatsoever. Yeah. Um wow. Nailed it. Pain. That Pain. hurt. But we're doing good now. So. That hurt. Did the uh, did the landlord at the time give you a discount? Of course not. They don't give us anything. <laughs> no, they were like, no, full price. It doesn't matter. You could sign a 10-year lease and they'll raise your rent every single year. It doesn't <laughs> matter. They don't care <laughs> about like it. It's, uh, we're going to need full price up front. And because of COVID restrictions, we're actually walling off the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> no one's allowed in. No one's allowed out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we expect if you're a week late on rent, we're... Coming for evicting it. you. It's, it's and coming. we own all your stuff. And we own everything. Yeah. Oh, damn. That's uh, man, the rental world. It sucks. I bet. Especially on the commercial side. It sucks. You guys hear that? Is that an alien? <laughs> no. Don't. Don't, <laughs> don't start. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Nope. Not an alien. Do you want the update now? Yeah. Hold on. Damn. Still, that flashlight's been on for about three weeks. Straight, okay. not even turned off. Still on. Never turned it off. I turned it on. What was it? The sixth? I think it was the sixth. I wanted to run the battery down to give it a fresh charge because I hadn't. This has been at my house for like three years while we were yeah. gone filming, and I was like, "Oh, you got to run the battery out of it. I don't want to give it a half-ass charge." And still, this is us. We have a ghost. That's. You ever heard of something like that? No, not at all. I've, it's kind of nice, though, if you live in a dark house, to have a ghost that lights you up a little bit. Brighten your day. I mean, yeah. <laughs> does it move around, or is it just the... No, 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 no. Just so the light. I, no, I brought it downstairs. It was on my nightstand so next to our bed. Nightstand. So how'd you sleep, though? For, like, the first two weeks, it was on the nightstand, shining at the ceiling. Oh, nice. Just daytime sleeping all the time. Um... K. Miller liked it <laughs> way less than I did. Can't imagine why. <laughs> let's, and put it, hey, let's put it on the nightstand right next to the yeah. bed. <laughs> you know how we're adults? Do we need a nightlight? Because I got one. <laughs> and she is so on my team. Yeah. That she would she That's wouldn't fine. say she would like. Do you th- do you think the flashlight's gonna go out soon? And what do you when it goes out? What are you going to do with it? Like, are you going to keep it on the nightstand? Are you going to? And I know what she was trying to say is, "Hey, asshole! Yeah. The room is like sitting on the sun at night, because when you're in a pitch back room, <laughs> yeah, any light is like the worst, yeah. And right above, <laughs> just right above us. Finally, I took the hint, yeah, because guys are really, really good at taking hints, yeah, excellent, oh, yes, all of them. It only took. How many? Two hints? weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Two, two weeks of hints. Yeah. Two weeks of hints, which is probably Only 50, 60 hints. Right. But I, I, I even talked her out of one of the hints. I was like, no, 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 no. I can't move it because then if I move it and something happens and the ghost and it changes. Out, yeah. Well, if I move it down to my office and then it goes out, then it was the movement. I was yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And then in theory. Soon after that, I was like, oh, she was. She was giving me the real hints. She was telling me yeah. to actually. She wasn't hinting. She was right. telling me right. to So move. we moved it down here. It's been down here for the last week. Yeah. Still hasn't gone out. Nope. Nice. We don't know if it's a ghost. It'd be cool. But we are pretty sure it's a ghost because there's no flashlight I've ever seen anywhere. Go for three weeks straight. Rechargeable? Yeah. I have a hard time making them last a night when we were filming the show. Yeah. Much less that. But... They've heard all about it. We just wanted to get you up to speed. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they they Pre- keep hearing about it. Yeah, yeah. they every Appreciate week it. Every, or every like Wednesday and Sunday they they get an update. Oh, okay. they don't really care. They don't want it. The update. No. They just get one. Well, no, it's just we we shove it in. It's part of the deal. Yeah. Update number two. 
have left. Which is what? We film Tuesday? So it would restart on Tuesday. Tuesday was the restart day. It was day one. Yeah. So we're what? Do we? We're only four. like four, four days. Oh, yeah. So we're Easy. making this deal about he can't, or he can't, he won't leave the house until Christmas. Nice. Not because he just doesn't want to. That's why. And yeah. I said no, I'm, I also won't leave I the am, house until Christmas. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I, I'm on self-imposed quarantine. Yeah. yeah. You're just, you're doing it for everybody I'm, else. I'm, I'm looking out for the rest you're, of the world. Of the and people, I yeah. don't, I don't want to catch people. Yeah. They're everywhere. People are the worst. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Best part, the worst part of everything. Yeah. I'm so with you. I have not. So. But I did hear Kristen, uh, so Kay Miller does a podcast with her friend Jessica, and it's called "Girl, Did You Hear?" Isn't that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Dude, I screwed up every because I want to say "Hey, girl." Yeah, hey, girl. Time. I'm, I was What's up, girl? I want to be like "Hey, girl." It's "Girl, Did You Hear?" Um, we put a link in most of the description. Anyway, she does a podcast with her friend Jessica downstairs, um, way more organized than this, but edited just as well. Well. Because it's yeah, she does the editing. Both. Yeah, yeah that mm-hmm. makes sense. But I was in here doing something, and she was out in the main part of the house, and I heard her talking to Jessica about my self-imposed quarantine, and I don't think she's really enjoying it. <laughs> she's she said things like, "It really puts a lot on me because I have to go out." Oh. For any anything that has to happen outside the house, she has to she has to go and do. She has to deal with. I didn't. I, I hadn't really thought about thought that. about that much. Yeah. Um, you haven't thought about that hint because <laughs> yeah. fifty it, to sixty more times until he'll get that. It hint. Didn't, it, I, I didn't feel it because I was not going out. Yeah, ah, that makes sense. You know, she's like, it, it would be nice if I needed something. You would maybe leave the house. You're like, nah. And I'm like, oof. That sounds good, but no, thank you. I'm willing to pay the extra for delivery. Yeah. You know the only place that doesn't is work? There a, is there a price that you would not pay where you're like, I'll go get it myself? Well, I get the, every, there's a price on everything that's either. Well, what's your max yes price? No. $100? Yeah. For the delivery charge? Yeah. $50? I mean, how much? Okay, some groceries. Okay. Some groceries. groceries. I don't know how much. Like is, how much is groceries? I don't, I don't know how much the delivery. What's the delivery? How much is groceries? Five thousand dollars for three things, probably nowadays. Like, really? What? How much is groceries? Like, it's like two hundred bucks for like a decent amount of stuff. Yeah. So you get two hundred bucks. Let's say, what would be your probably cap? for our house? It's probably like four or five. Okay, yeah. so what would be the cap on on? You're like, yeah, I'm. If no. it was four hundred dollars worth of groceries, and I was the only one who could go and pick them up. If the delivery fee was a hundred dollars or less, I'm paying it, a hundred percent. Over a hundred dollars, I'm probably thinking about breaking my quarantine. Damn, mine's like ten bucks. Me me too, Troy. (laughs) Me too, (laughs) Troy. I don't like getting things delivered. I'd rather just go pick it up. Really? Relying on other people sucks. Yeah. I love relying on delivery services now. They're uh, better than anything that's ever happened. Well, yeah, they're better that now. That is but. the one thing that COVID absolutely yeah. streamlined. Yeah. And I, that's the only but, thing I thank COVID for. Yeah. Like, I would never get, we did it once, but I would never get, like, produce or anything. Because we did it, and they got us the, the worst. Yeah. The worst produce. I'm like, what is this? Mm-mm. So after that, I was like, never again will I do that. But if I need some, but we I'm end up with I think the same shoppers multiple times. Especially when we were in Florida, we were up in like Mayo, Florida, which population us. Nice. <laughs> and the one person who did like Instacart. Yeah. And the same person delivered us groceries like twice a week. But like I already knew you. With, yeah, she knew what we liked, the brands we liked. How oh. we liked. Uh, Kristen she and might her, as well come in, bre- put them away. Her on the <laughs> side, yeah. <laughs> Kay Miller and her would have like text conversation, <laughs> like, "Hey, they don't have your kind of this." Yeah, but that's like the delivery side of everything. He made me ten times more lazy. Yeah, 
probably why I weigh 205. Um, also made it so much more convenient. But now they're taxing the shit out of it. Yeah. The delivery fee, like during COVID, I felt like the delivery fees were pretty low and made it so that people would order food and give other people a job. Yeah. Which is weird because then there's a restaurant handling your food, then there was a driver handling your food, and then you were handling your food. And as long as they put a piece of tape on it, you couldn't catch COVID. Yeah, that's, that's how that works. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand any of that. Hey, I only I mean, but but the delivery fee was cheap, so people were tipping better. Now I feel like it's right. Reversed. Delivery's very yeah. very expensive. You know, now it's more expensive, and you probably you're like, dang. And I, I don't know it. that the delivery fee trickles down to the driver in any way. No. There's no way. Only the tip, right? Yeah, you get, get their, a basic. Their base pay you get a base pay for delivery. It's like, we, we take this delivery. It pays eight dollars. Yeah. It's one point three miles, and then the tip on the other side of it, you find out after your yeah after your mm-hmm. delivery. Yep. Okay, uh, I know that groceries are the most expensive thing that we have delivered, and you guys are absolutely right. I should have adjusted this ahead of time. Hang on. We'll fill the dead air. I don't know why we have to use pliers. No, you haven't done jujitsu on no grip strength. Yeah. Oh. That's why. Right, Troy? Yeah, that's it. No. uh, (laughs) That's the one. I didn't need the pliers earlier. Could be the old age. No. Anyway, but it's very, very expensive. To get. It's probably four hundred dollars of groceries. It's probably eighty dollars for delivery. I'm guessing. The, w- including their tip, like all in what we pay to get the groceries to our house much. is an extra probably eight That's bucks. Gross. No, it's like, hey, I want to buy twenty dollars worth of food. I want it to cost sixty dollars though. Yes, <laughs> and that's how Kay Miller can always justify delivery with me because she'll say, "Here's the deal: I can order all the groceries, and you can drive to the store and pick them up," or. We can have them delivered to the house because I'm way too busy today to also go and do that. And I'm like, hmm, it's a reasonable I'm, price. Yeah, that, <laughs> Trevor's like, I'm busy too, so let's <laughs> yeah. get them delivered. Ooh, that is <laughs> yeah. a reasonable price. Yeah, that sounds great. Mm-hmm. Do you you DoorDash food or groceries? No. Nothing? No, I, I'll, really go, nothing. I'll go get it, yeah. Everything? Uh, just about, yeah. I'll do some Amazon stuff every once in a while, but... I don't. I like to just go and get it. I don't want to wait on somebody else and or pay more than I have to. So you're more of like, if I if that's the only way to get it, then okay, fine. Yeah, if, I, so. if I'm stuck and have to order something and get it delivered, I will, but I'm never stuck like that. I drive an SUV, so if it's snowing, I'll go pick it up. It's I didn't even think about being stuck as far as weather. I meant like stuck as far as it's six miles away. Well, yeah, I won't drive six miles, but I live close enough to other Everything. things to where I don't have to. Like the grocery store is like a mile away. So oh, okay. easy for me to just go and do it because then I can eat shit on the way home too. If we're be- <laughs> Yes. If we're being honest, the grocery store from here is probably a mile. It's far. I'd pay $100. <laughs> so from here, my house, <laughs> it's at 136th in Colorado. Yeah. So we're like six, five or six blocks from 136, and about another half a mile from yeah. yeah, it's a mile. Yeah, we're I think we're we're not even we might be. You could hit a golf ball. Yeah, from your house. I fly my drone to the store and look at it and see who's there. A the, there's a super yeah. Walmart right down the street. Right too, down many, the, too, oh, too many yeah. people. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. I'm terrible. Hey, terrible. If you can do it, then do it. But I'm also the guy when it, when Amazon says, "Would you like to pay two ninety nine to have it here?" Oh yeah, I'll do that by too. five a.m. Yeah. I'm like, why would I wait till ten a.m.? Yeah, like I need it now. If it could be here at five a.m. and I could wake up at nine a.m. and yeah. get it, I'll walk out my door at nine forty five and it'll be there for seven hours already. Right. That's what yeah. I want. Yeah, I, and I I catch myself on that all the time. If they give me a sooner a time for a couple, I'm like, yes. Yes, absolutely. I only pick yes when I don't want to wait till 7 p.m. Yeah, I, because it usually says by 10 p.m. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to wait that long. And I'm like, what? I've been now if that's the only, hours. yeah, if that's the only choice, that? then I'll take it. Yeah. By 10 p.m. That sucks. Yeah. That, the sun goes down at 3:30. I'm tired already. Yeah. Don't make me oh, wait I'm asleep. Seven hours. At 10 a.m. I'm in bed. Oh yeah, I'm in bed. At 10 p.m. Yeah. yeah. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. And 10 a.m. And 10 a.m. I'm just. No, I'm always <laughs> in bed. He's just never not in bed. No, I'm. It's I'm like actually. Hedonism, but 
obviously I don't have an alarm clock, but I yeah. wake up between 6.45 and 7.30, 7.45 in the morning. PM. No, no. Oh. A, every morning I just wake up. Yeah. Sometimes it's because Vinny's standing yeah. on the bed with her nose. Right in your eyeballs. Right there. Asking me if I'm awake. And I'm like, I am. I guess I am now. Now. Usually she bothers Camilla. Oh, nice. She's given up on me. <laughs> it's like, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Get she's delivery. Like, <laughs> she's like, at least with her, I can go in public. <laughs> yeah, I can walk outside. <laughs> Shit. It's terrible. Speaking of Vinny, Mike took a bite. Yeah. Vinny's a, a fully trained working canine. Okay, good. I was. She does like bite work. I had work. no clue, so I was just assuming. Yeah, yeah. No, she she hoping. does bite work. She does scent work. Nice. You know, she, drugs. She knows that what you have in your pocket, Troy. It's my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Mike took a bite. Yep. Of Mike's the gonna, dog? He bit the dog? I mean, I do not recommend that. Okay. But no, just took a bite sure. from the dog. Now you're going to take another bite. Okay. Okay. I, I want to do it again. The reason is I bought a new bite sleeve. Oh, nice. But it's not broken yet. But it, it, it's, very, it's very stiff. Mm. But then I took the cover off of it, and there were two extra pieces of plastic so you can make it harder or softer. So I took two of those pieces out, and now it actually you know, is, is workable. Yeah. It, it wasn't fair to Vinny because I had no. – like, it was like – No, because when she bit right here, it's like she just slid off, right? Right. And then that's when she grabbed right here, and then that's when I felt like, oh, wow. She's, she's got, got me. She's got me, and that was way different. So – I took two pieces out of that wedge because what it is is like you stick your arm in this thing. It has a it has a bar that you grab a hold of, and then there's like a triangle wedge that comes off of it that the dog is supposed to bite there rather than you know deeper on your arm. Yeah, but it was so hot. I was like, man, I maybe I bought the wrong sleeve. Like this this one is really hard. And usually, mm -hmm. you know, you just pound on them a little bit and it softens up the material enough. But I took the sleeve off of the top of it, and there was. It was like triple lined. There are three pieces of wedge in there, so you there's could, no way it was going to break. Is that extra, or is that you just add that in case you can't? Because you can't feel honestly, you can't feel nothing um, when she grabbed a hold of you. No, maybe, maybe you know, there's dogs out there that are just monsters, just mo crazy on the bite, and maybe you know they could possibly need more. I don't know how, but. It was it was so hard, and I took him out, and I was like, "Oh, this this makes sense." So that was my fault. Yeah. Um, but when she moved off of the forearm, so the forearm is well protected, mm -hmm. and then the elbow, there's just like a lot of material. Mm. She moved off of the forearm because she couldn't really get a good bite, and she grabbed the the material by the elbow, and then Mike was like, "Yeah, that was it was completely uh, different." Oh no! <laughs> I was like, "Oh, this is you know." Yeah, she could bite there. Yeah, she could yeah. bite. She could drag you. Yeah. She'll pull you around. It was it was a good time. I want to do it again because I want to feel. The you want to feel the other piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll do that. Um, I don't know if K. Miller won't be back. When? Before we're done recording, I don't think. No. If anything goes wrong, see you next week. We're just gonna have to <laughs> sit here until <laughs> until she gets back. Like, uh. <laughs> because neither Mike nor I know what's going on. The tricks that she does to get us. Um, I don't even know how to work my chair. It's already set up. So yeah, right yeah she pushed you right in. <laughs> yep. But anyway, that's Mike took a Mike took a bite. It wasn't the right bite. We need to give him an, yeah. another bite. Gotcha. Because that one was you. you well, right you now, in, you in right now? Well, I mean, usually we go after, and then we oh. put it. In, then we'll put the video into yeah. the next. Oh, episode. maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's it's a lot less uh, <laughs> yeah. difficult than trying to drag all. Oh, them. <laughs> have the dog in here get the bite. Oh, oh God, the dog in here getting a bite. Forget it. What Mike did get to experience is the difference in my dog being my dog in the house. That was different. And then my dog knowing that it's like, go time. It's bite time. Yeah. It was, it she was changes, huh? Quick. And it's, it's terrifying. It, quick. I'm like, oh, she don't need a warm up. She's ready now. Yeah, it was. She gets down in her haunt. Like, oh, no. You just, you just like, you know, get slapping her side a little bit and give her a couple check commands that tell her it's and you, she's like i will kill him now yeah that's but scary as soon as we offer she was great she walks away i took the sleeve from mike mike's like is she gonna still 
yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no. I still have like, arms. Uh, yeah. I'm like, no, we offed her. She, there's no threat. Nice. And he was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but she was, was no fine. Threat, huh? No, she Nothing. was fine. It's crazy. No, no was, you offer after a bite. It's crazy. Now, if you're still yeah. walking around with the sleeve on, she's yeah. like, that's the thing yeah, that like, we bite. Yeah. But, I am turned. Yeah, as soon as you take the, the, the sleeve away. Anyway. Sometimes we have conversations that are way more entertaining to us than yeah. I'm like, hey, cool, yeah. than to everybody else. Um, let's get into Troy. Okay, that sounds weird. Right? <laughs> I don't know if I Whoa. like that, but all right. I mean, we did see several of your walkouts for oh yeah, fight mm-hmm. to win. So yep. getting into Troy is not really that far off base. That's true. Yeah, we've seen a lot of it. So uh, in jujitsu, there are some pro shows that travel around. Mm-hmm. Like the UFC or like, oh, man, someone's texting my phone. Uh-oh. Oh, That's no. not good. That's not good. Um, I don't like conversations unless it's on the Unless it's on the on phone. The fan or line. Yeah. We have a fan line. Oh, nice. Supposed to only be for the show, but Trevor's having conversations outside. And it's like, yeah. oh. Like, all right. He so answered the question. We, we set up a phone number, 303-578-8680, that people can call and leave voicemails comment about something we talked about, or they could say, hey, this is something I'd like to hear your opinion on. Uh, I also set it up so you can text that number. I am on self-quarantine, so yeah. guess what happens? They text. They're like, hey, <laughs> it's on. He's got a bunch of new friends. And we start chatting. I don't know any of their names. Yeah, why, why It's learn just them? a number. Yeah, why learn them? Well, it's just an, I, I'm just having conversations. Yeah. That sounds I didn't mean to answer that like it that's not how it started, huh? No. Like, you no. could text a comment or text, you know, yeah. a question or something. We'll, we'll answer it. Yeah. No, now there's now there's text. Conversations. Yeah. Now there's conversations that go on. So so anyway, 303-578-8680. If you uh, have a comment about the show or a topic you'd like us to cover, or if you just want to text with me. Yeah, just have any conversation. If you're on quarantine, Trevor's <laughs> not on quarantine. Anything. Make sure you send your name as the first text so that way he's forced to ignore your name. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun having text conversations with just anonymous people who yeah. want to talk about whatever. Sometimes it's about the show. Most of the time, most of the time it's asking for the link to K Miller's podcast. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. There's that. But um, back to my original point, <clears throat> there are several, not so, uh, there are a few traveling pro MMA shows, which would be for jujitsu. It's like the UFC, Bellator, or PFL. There's a couple, you know, bigger ones that are out there. And if you are a jujitsu athlete, that's where your stage is to perform. That's where you go to get the best matches, to test yourself, to make a little bit of money. Um, gain some notoriety, have some fun. Uh, Troy used to work for Fight to Win, so he traveled the country putting on the Fight to Win jiu-jitsu pro shows. And because he traveled the country putting the shows on, he was also available at any time yep. for a match. So if something fell off or something happened, if he didn't have a match scheduled for that show, they, they were just like, hey, Troy, yeah. Warm it up. Yeah. It's, Get it's on out go there. time. Yeah. And yeah. It, you answered the call what appeared to be any time it was yeah. asked. But in jujitsu, it's not it's not as uncommon to not take. I mean yeah. a, a weight class is a weight class. If it's close yeah. enough, it's jujitsu. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You're gonna roll it and it's gonna happen. But some of the coolest walkouts ever. So if you I liked the old like WWE style walkouts. Yeah. And Bellator used to do some really cool stuff. The UFC's kind of No. Fred, like they're like yeah. we are not doing anything exciting no. on your walk. You, you get a song. That's it. They don't even let you wear a flag uh, carry a flag anymore. I thought they I thought they let flags back in. Yeah, I think they They just did. They yeah. yes, they know you think yes, they know. Yeah. That's oh, a that's you gotta ask. Yeah, that's a Does JJ like the flag. Yeah, but she does. She only uses it in her picture. She doesn't use it for. A oh, walk. she doesn't walk out no. ever. Okay. No. But yeah, they told. If me. they said yes, would she walk out with the flag? No, I don't. I think always so. think it's hard because I don't want to drop the flag. Oh, or yeah, the, like, yeah. 
then scary. half mm-hmm. America like it's thinks you're you. ISIS. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. <laughs> no, I just I just fought somebody. I dropped it. I'm sorry. My hands were like this. Yeah. Um, just punched somebody for 15 minutes. But fight to win the jiu-jitsu promotion was all in on walkouts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Because A, sometimes jiu-jitsu matches are slightly less exciting to watch if you're not a jiu-jitsu player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it shows the the individuality of that of that competitor too. Like, kind of just you get to see kind of person who they that, are. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think that that's that's what makes it exciting. I think. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. You, you know. want to like you always want to peek behind the curtain and see who that person. Yeah. You know what? What, what is your personality? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think every highlight reel of fight to win walkouts are started, middled, and ended by a Troy Evett walkout. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you go online and you search it, or Kay Miller can probably put Is one there right a- here. She could probably put a video right here of Troy walking out to my very, very favorite dick in a box. Troy Everett is actually coming in from Colorado and is a fight to win veteran with a six and seven record. I think I think he's trying to do the Justin Bieber blank in a box. I think he's nailing it right now. Yeah, he's killing it. Good. Right before I went against Chris Lieben too. Yes, that was the best part. It was in Hawaii. In Hawaii versus Chris Lieben in, in a jiu-jitsu in front match. of two thousand people. Yeah, yeah, that was probably a good time. And he came out to yeah. what was the I like how did you think of your walkouts? Was it something that was just like this is what I'm doing? Or is it thought of like as you're it gonna was get probably what is the most outrageous song or Yeah. I was I'm I'm a big fan of walking out like people walk out to the worst, lamest songs ever. So I want like to like every Eminem song. Yeah, every Eminem ever made, song for if you ever want to lose, yeah. If you ever want to lose, walk out to Eminem. Mm-hmm. But I, I like to walk out to songs that are fun that yeah. the people in the audience will be like oh I that's know that. funny like my first walkout ever was to the cantina song from star wars right um and you then don't have to lean away to drink you're all right they know we have drink it over drink. the mic I'll drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah um and then did you I, do the barbie song too um i did uh candy man by okay. aqua not barbie because yeah, that yeah, one yeah. had been done but i've done like i think 30 matches and i think 28 of them have been to some sort of pop song from the 90s or 2000s. Which okay. is... Just because they're fun. 100% the opposite of Troy in real life. Yeah. Troy is a bass player in a metal band called It's Always Sunny in Tijuana. Yeah. And they're hardcore. Like, it's metal. Yeah. Metal. You yeah. know. Metal. Like, metal. Like, okay. not just metal. You got to look. Like, you got to do the <laughs> eye thing. The like whole eyes and all that. Uh. Metal. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things where, like, hey, Troy has to go to his show tonight. They play at seven. It's a metal show. Do you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're a metalhead, it's, Great. it's amazing. It's but you'll amazing. also have fun. I have people from the gym that have gone to our yeah. shows and they're like, I don't like the music, but you're fun to watch. So it makes it worthwhile. And he is equally the character on stage playing the bass that he is walking out to a jujitsu match. Yeah. He he understands the showmanship of it. I mean, how many bands, local bands, can you go watch do the exact same thing, lather, rinse, repeat? It's none of it's. Trust me, I was in that industry for a long time, <laughs> and given the opportunity to dunk my nuts in a blender or go to another sh- local show of them all doing the same thing, I'll take the blender. Yeah, well, that and it's also in your house already. <laughs> the blender's already here. I don't so. have to go anywhere. Yeah, you're good. I could order a new yeah, one. The show, the band's not playing here, <laughs> so. It, Got the blender. I don't. There's drums. There's hey. there's guitars. I'm down. There's microphones. I can call everybody right now. They all live closer to you than they do to me. They're so. like, oh, <laughs> they're like, we'll definitely go there. <laughs> yeah, hey, finally. Yeah, something close. Um, but Troy, as a bass player, turns it on. You know, it's big guitar swings. It's stomping. It's you know the the marching across and. Have interaction fun. with the crowd, interaction with his bandmates, everything that you want okay. from a, a showman on the stage, even if you don't, like, yeah, I'm not a metal guy. Is there any YouTube videos, Troy? Yes. There's yeah. A, okay. Yeah. Kay Miller. Okay. Another one, right? Right, 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 right there. there. Yeah. Right. All right. Wait, she's going to put it like... Boom. Oh, light, right. right there, yeah. Right there. Okay. You see? All right. 
it's uh, that showmanship is what in anything you do sells it. Yeah. You as a boring bass player sells no. less tickets every single time you play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When people buy the ticket, it's to see the show. Yeah. And not necessarily, I mean, yes, the music, but they want to see the show. Similar to, it's very easy to sell tickets to your first pro jujitsu match. Yeah. Yep. It is 70% harder to your second jujitsu match. Yeah. Unless you're giving them a reason to come and watch. Either you're a high flying jujitsu guy, which I'm not, or. You're funny as shit when you walk out, and it doesn't matter what you do because they're still talking about the walkout the entire time you're grappling. You still get the More same. More his speed. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. People don't ask me about the matches. They're like, hey, that was a cool walkout. What did you walk like, out to? That was like, cool. Oh, yeah. man, that was so much fun. And it's like, yeah, 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 just that. Don't worry about the match. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that, that's kind of what it is to jujitsu. And as a jujitsu player, there are the traditionalists who are like, we walk out, we bow, we do this, we do... Uh, 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 we grapple yeah. and it's my turn, your turn, move, move, move. And you can't sell tickets to that. It's very, no. it's very, very hard to watch. So you add things like walkouts, you add bonuses to, you know, to finishes. You, you I mean, you have to find a way to make it mm-hmm. exciting. Uh, I was at the CJJ C show. Uh, that was the last time I left the house. Nice. Five days ago. Mm-hmm. And they do jujitsu in an MMA cage, which is cool. It's fun because, yeah. you know, there's there's a different piece of it. You, you're locked, you know, you're shoved up against a cage. You don't have the extra scoot room to move away. Or yeah. you can use the cage as like having a teammate. You can you know, wedge someone into a corner. Or mm-hmm. you watch people walk the cage and flip out of things that they shouldn't have been able to get out of. I enjoy that part of it. I would enjoy it more if they would incorporate some of that showmanship in their walkouts. And I mean, it's, you gotta, I mean, if you're going to do it, you got to do a show. One thing I've learned over the last four years of filming the bounty hunting show is if you're going to do it, make a show out of it. Like do it. Don't like, it's not golf. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's going to come. I think some people are just afraid to put themselves out there. And you can't be. You know if you, I mean? if I, you, no, I agree. If I just, you are an athlete, a combat athlete, or a jujitsu athlete, or uh, maybe, maybe you do karate because you can't do anything else. Yeah. Um, if you are going to try to advance, you have to sell yourself oh. in some way. Yeah. You know, as a fighter, JJ's very, very, very low key. Oh gosh, it drives me nuts. She. It, uh, no, it does. She's very low key. Yeah. She's very, very quiet. She's very respectful of the art and fighting, and she's not the one. She, you know, she's. If there's Conor McGregor, if you needed a polar opposite, it would be JJ yeah. Aldridge. Yeah. Like she doesn't. She yeah. doesn't do call out. She doesn't do the. I mean, when she wins, there's about an eight to ten second moment where you get to see her actually so, yes. super excited, yeah. and, and then it, immediately she gets it back, yep. and she puts it back in. But to be a combat athlete anymore, to be a a musician anymore, you cannot just be what everybody else is. You ha- you have to you have to make an impression. Mm-hmm. You have to do something. And there's a reason that promotions continue to offer multiple fights to certain fighters or jujitsu promotions that go out there. That when they're in that city, they're definitely going to have that guy on, even if he you know he's not great at jujitsu. He's not going. You know he's He's not talking about me right now. Yeah. When I talk <laughs> about great jujitsu, jitsu it's, it's Troy Everett. Um, but there's those towns where you guys would go to, and you know you're having this guy and this guy on because, yeah. A, they sell tickets because they're entertaining, because they understand that part of it. Yeah. And you have to almost become a partner to the organization to say, I will hold up my end of it too. But in the UFC... Uh, there's no there's no shine to the walkouts. There's, so either you have to be in the media being an ass clown of some sort. Yep. Or you have to just let your work speak for itself yeah. in the cage. The last organization that that's kind of the thing. And the crazy thing about it is they're the largest organization of all of the combat sports. 
you know, you're not going to put on a show that people, people are not going to fall in love with your walkout at the UFC. Never. 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 Yeah. Never. And it's tough because there's so many fights now that it's like, even if you're doing really well, like you were it's still hard to fight get that traction. for on the like 12 week run of shows every single week at mm. the apex and everything. So it's like, oh yeah, I remember watching it, but I, I don't know. I've, I've been focused on the John Jones fight or whatever. Like when there's a show this week and a show next week and a show the week after that, and then a show after that. And then, yeah. you know, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to create traction you know, yeah. when they're signing so many athletes, putting so many people out there. I mean, JJ's been the, she's opened a lot of shows, mm -hmm. which is not a bad spot. Yeah. It's not the greatest no. spot. It's but not the bad I would, spot. I would much rather open Oh, gosh. The prelims then be the third fight on the prelims. Well, yeah, because you know exactly when you're fighting. You don't. Yeah. You, you well, know what I mean? and people, people like they tune the first fight. People tune into. Yeah. And then they get two or three fights into the prelims, and it's guys they've never heard of yeah. fighting guys yeah. they've never heard of, and they're like, oh, I'll kind of background yeah. this until you know it pops yeah. off. You either want if you're going to be on the prelims or the <laughs> early prelims, you want to be the very first fight or the very last fight on mm -hmm. either side of that card. Yep. You never want to be sandwiched in the middle somewhere because I cannot tell you the amount of times that the four prelim fights, I saw the first one and the last one, the middle two guys, I couldn't name them ever. Yeah. Yeah. And then you want to then make the main card. Yeah. And then you want to make the main card on a pay-per-view, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah. Um, but there's only, like I was saying, there's only a couple ways you can do that. You, you can either put it on oh. in the cage and just be dominant like ridiculously dominant, which is almost impossible anymore because everybody's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the young kids coming up are like fucking video games. Yeah, and they've they started at so two years old. Yeah. Yeah. Or you have to find a way to make a splash so that people want to see you, even if they have no idea who you are, if you're a good fighter yeah. or not. They yeah. just, they just want to see you because you said things. But then if you say things and you don't do well, then you just get ripped apart, even if you're just trying to make a name for yourself and then you don't win in dominant fashion. Even if you win, but by like decision. split decision. Oh, split decision. Then people are like, they're terrible. Yeah, this guy's terrible. It's like, garbage, but he, he garbage, still won. Garbage. Like, he was talking all this shit. And now he's barely squeaking by. And it's like, well, he's got to do something. Like, right. You've got to find it's a, a way. It's a double edged sword where you try and make a name for yourself, but if you don't, aren't able to just run through everybody, then they're like, eh, whatever. How does that translate? in the local music scene now for you local music scene is because there's four nightmare. bands that have formed since we started this podcast. yeah and they're all playing shows at trailside <laughs> tomorrow yeah tomorrow night um <laughs> it's tough it's people the local music scene right now is big on uh like virtue signaling where it's like we don't we don't allow this shit to happen in our scene if like somebody inevitably hits their girlfriend because they're all just getting drunk all the time but then nobody will name names and everyone will just kind of act big and tough, but then they'll just kind of let it happen, let it happen. And like, why are you posting this from the band page? Like you, your band shouldn't be the one doing this. You guys should, if you're going to say, handle this say personally, yeah. like go to the person, if you know who it is, go to them and tell them not like, Hey, we as a band don't stand for this, but we're not going to tell anybody what's happening. And it's, vague, I don't know. Vague booking. Vague book. What's yeah. What's the point of that? Yeah, it's so frustrating. But like Tijuana, we just do our own shit. Like we just we stick to ourselves. We put out stupid promo videos that people are like, oh them. man, because we played a festival in South Dakota a couple months ago, and we put out like this made no sense. It was called Slam Dakota. So we did this three minute promo video where I got it confused for a pog tournament. And I trained <laughs> slammers. Yeah, I trained to play <laughs> pogs and then got told that it was a death metal festival in South Dakota. And people love that. They're like, wow, no one's really done any videos like this. Like you're really making it. It's like it wasn't hard to do this. And it's right. it's just everyone's doing the same shit. It's like with the UFC, it's like every everything's the same. All the bands are doing the same thing. It's like we're all tough, sure. We can all take pictures in the forest. Like we can all do that. Like all of our logos yeah, can look like yeah. It's like well, ours stack does. Of ours does too. So I, I got nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing bad to say there. But it's just like do something different. Just stand out a little bit. Like right. me, just running back and forth on stage, gets a bunch of people to go. Like man, it's your stage presence is crazy. And it's, it's like so, I'm just running back well, and like, forth. I'm just doing something. I'm just I'm having there. fun up there. And it's like so many people are trying so hard to be 
hard. the next big thing and be hard and be like, oh, yeah, look at us. And it's like, just be yourselves and people will probably like you more. Yes. And you'll probably mm-hmm. get more traction. That is that is easily the biggest issue that I, when I was covering the local music scene, when, you know, I mean, I was fully engulfed in that world yeah. for a long time. And there's nothing I could tell a band that was more important than stop trying to do what you guys think yeah. every band like you does. Yeah. Stop it. You know, you get the, the metal bands where, you know, you have you have two guitar players, you have a bass player, you have a, a lead singer, and you have a drummer. And the two the two guitar players, um, they find their spot, they widen their stance, and yeah. they do not move. Yeah. For forty five minutes, which is boring. Other than they bang yeah. their head, in put their unison. foot up on the monitor. Yeah, put the foot down, foot on the monitor, foot off the monitor. Wide stance, wide stance, wide stance. Yeah. Got to get it wide. Have fun. Yeah. You don't. You're not tough. Yeah. Let's be realistic. Yeah, like ninety nine percent of the world is not tough. You don't have to be that. You don't. You no. should enjoy playing music. You don't have to be tough. Yeah. There's. I mean, I don't know where those two things started yeah. to marry. Have fun. Yeah. Enjoy it. I would rather go see. Um, I would rather go see a band that absolutely bucked the system, and nobody else wants to go see because they're not doing it the way you're supposed to, but they're just having a blast. Yeah. I'd rather go see them every time. Yeah. Than the four bands that you really could just cut and paste them on stage yeah, over like- and over again. That's not, fun. and it feels like one song played for yeah, four like, hours. Oh, the show's over already. Okay, cool. I didn't even realize they had switched. Yeah, bands. I didn't. Like, I, I thought we were still on the first band. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, okay. Yeah. How many but, shows do you guys do? Uh, like here, in the, or do you guys travel? We do a little bit. We're trying to travel more because Denver's kind of oversaturated. So it's like we're trying to get in and out. We played South Dakota. We played. Uh, Grand Junction with uh, All That Remains not that long ago, which was cool, like just getting out and doing like outside of Denver, like even if we play the Springs or Fort Collins, like just trying to get out. But we usually play like one show a month. We're a bunch of dudes in our mid to late 30s with families. So it's like we're not trying to necessarily go on like a two month extensive tour around the country. It's like if we can go play two shows out of state, we're happy. And then get back here. Have fun with your friends. Yeah, play exactly. a show in Denver. Play a show. Have and then fun. Then go back to do. Yeah. Yeah. We. It's like, um, I think if you count all of the kids in the band, there's like nine kids between the five of us, like that are either theirs or that we, you know, consider ours at this point. So, so vasectomies for Christmas is a good idea. Yeah. 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 I've gotten two already. I I got two. Yeah. No, I legitimately got two vasectomies. I got one, got it redone, and then did it again. No. I got a vasectomy. For your second, you have two? When you have to get tested yeah. after you know, after so long and that's after so it, many yeah. um Yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah. System flushes. Sure. I was still swimming. Oh. Just so strong. That they had They twice. were jumping the gap. Yeah. Whatever <laughs> was going <laughs> the on was the going on hazards. twice. <laughs> They had to put a cork in it. <laughs> Just cut them off. <laughs> Just hold it. Eunuch. Okay. okay. <laughs> Don't need any more. Good. Barbie movie. Barbie movie is his favorite movie. Because it? it can. Doesn't have to worry about anything. It's nothing. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Got the laser hair removal. Don't have to worry about anything. Two. Two. Yeah. But yeah, it's we, we play like 12 shows a year. If that, 10 to 12 shows a year. And you run a gym full time, so you yeah. know there's that. Yeah, you know. You yeah. teach all the classes? I teach about ninety percent of the classes, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I'd consider that He's all there all the time. Yeah, it's I'm there for every class, but I teach about ninety percent of them. You didn't trust anybody. I do. Hey, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I, <didn't laughs> I do. I've, I was like, like, watch this, I'm gonna yeah. I've, I'm gonna well, cause a problem in the, his gym. He's no, like no, no. every everybody there, no. he just doesn't believe it enough yeah. to let you guys do no. You know how it is. <clears throat> Best yeah. of the best. Yeah. No, it's because that's that's what you do. Yeah. It's so what you're I there. Do, yeah. You want to be in the gym. You're not one of those gym owners that's like, okay, I started the gym. Now I need to make everybody yeah. else yeah, it's everybody do all problem. the work and I'm just gonna yeah. stand over here and, yeah. and not. 
That's how it. some a lot of gyms become yeah. after a while. Yeah. You know, it's like I'd rather put in the work to help other people out than be like, okay, cool. Well, see you later. I'm going to go home. Like, that's all mm. I want to do. Let me know how class went. Yeah. <laughs> Call me afterwards. How I'll come be... your numbers are down? Yeah. It's like, oh, I haven't mm. tried. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <Ooh. laughs> you didn't say I had to like actually try to teach. So right. did you, were you already playing music that got started jujitsu or was it yeah, vice? No, I started uh, in bands when I was 15 and I started jujitsu when I was 20. Oh, okay. I actually knew Troy as a musician. Yep. Before oh, really? Before either of us did jujitsu. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think when I was on Trevor Rocks Denver was like when I was like eighteen or nineteen, I think. Yeah. Oh damn! So that was a while ago. back then. Yeah, we've known each other since either one of us thought anything about jujitsu. Yeah. And then our worlds just swirled. Yeah, we just. Back I didn't around. even know Troy did jujitsu until because he was hitting. You would hit mitts with Keith Smelter. Oh yeah. At three. Oh, <laughs> oh Keith. Oh, oh Keith. Keith. Good old, old Keith. Keith. Good old, old Keith. Keith. Everybody Schmelzer. loves him. Everyone loves him. He's he's a character for Everyone sure. Everyone has done something that has a tie back to Keith, no oh. matter no matter what. Yeah. No matter what. And Setting up the old fight to win tournaments with Keith. Yep. <laughs> Setting up a cage that was gonna fall over with Keith. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't don't hit this too hard. You're gonna go <laughs> through. Yeah. Stay off the wall over here. Yeah. Not so good. All the other panels are fine, just not this one. Yeah. No, Keith Keith's done everything. Yeah, you used to used to hit mitts at three oh three with Keith. You yep. would, like jujitsu's going on over here, and then you would just come walking in and yeah. uh, over on the side. Every once in a while, he's like, "I'll work with you," and I'm like, "Okay, I, oh, I'm like, sure." What am I? I, I don't want to fight, but all right, <laughs> like, sounds good. Oh, yeah. There's no punching in jujitsu. Yeah, I like to learn, I guess, but yeah, getting kicked at full speed sounds awful. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever thought about doing a combat jujitsu? No, 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 no. What are your thoughts on that? Since you just, it's only jujitsu for you. Um, I don't mind it. Like I, uh, we just coached a MMA fighter. Uh, we just had it. He won at the last uh, Sparta show. Oh, okay. So it's like I'm down to coach it. I'm going to – I'll, like, do everything I can to be a good coach, but I have zero desire to get hit in the face by somebody trying to knock me out. Like, I'll spar, but I don't like to go more than, like, 50% because I'm a baby. Yeah, I don't blame You're pretty. Yeah, I mean – Ugly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm like, there's two people that would say I'm handsome, and it's my mom and my girlfriend. And, that's, and your girlfriend only half the time. She's Yeah, she's asleep a lot. <laughs> she's so she's, she's, right. she's, <laughs> she got bad eyesight. It's, it's, right. It worked out for me. How did we do 52 minutes on nothing? Hey, that's what happens. Quick. We're going to have to talk about a few things. Should we speed run some stuff? All right. <sighs> Here's Wait. a question. Okay. Here's a question. Okay, I'm ready. Put all the modesty aside. Okay, put it just put it over there in, in a pile. I'll act like I know what that word means. Uh huh. What are you better at than ninety percent of the people in the world? Being Troy Everett. Nope, that's Damn not it. an acceptable answer. Shit. You want to go first or second, Troy? Second for Thank sure. Yeah. Mike, what? Yeah. Mike, and what am I better at than ninety percent of the people in the world? You know, K Miller's playing. Jeopardy theme song, right? Yeah. About that buzzer is about to beep. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I don't, you know, I don't. Shit. That was caught me off guard on that mm -hmm. one. I wasn't ready. Um, hey, what am I what better? At? Yeah, what are you better at? Than most people? Yeah, ninety percent. That's a lot of people. Brag. No, the world's big, but it's filled with people who can't do shit. That's true. I mean, that's you're right. That's you're right. Mm -hmm. But we don't know if they could do anything. We just haven't seen them. What is it? Probably helping people. Worst answer. What? Ever. That's a... Eating helping Snickers people. bars. No, not Snickers. <laughs> I help no. people. Okay. What do you help them do? I, I just help them. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I'm a facilitator. <laughs> Imports, exports. You know how it is. What do I help them do? If, if helping people is what you do better than 90% of the people in the world, I'm going to disagree because there's a lot of like uh, hospice nurses. <laughs> But do they do it? They don't care, though. They Most of them care. I don't think so. I think to be in that So all the oh, ones I've met. Go. Hospice all, nurses? No, all the ones all the ones that I've come in contact with through, I would have to disagree. They don't care? I would have to. That's crazy. I would have to disagree. Okay, NICU nurses. Oh, they oh, they might. Yeah. They babies. might. Yeah. Babies. They're the 10%. Everybody though. cares about babies. They're the 10%. Unless you don't Unless care. Unless you don't like babies. Then yeah. you're weird. Then you're weird, yeah. That's the 10%, though. That, so that's still the answer you're going to give me is I, yeah that's probably the yeah. helping people yeah because I don't do I help I, what, people better I, than anybody but I don't I'm do anything else like what can you make a better sandwich for me 
I need that kind of help. Better sandwich? Yeah. No, I can't make it. No, no, not. What are you helping? I, I could make some better food. Not, what are you helping? Not, not, not sandwich, though. What are you not, helping? What, what, what do you help at better than anybody else? Probably listen to you. Yeah. Yeah. You can at least pretend like you're listening to me, huh? <laughs> you can listen to no, me without can, hearing me for hours. I can pretend to his, listen to oh, anybody. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I could pretend to listen to anybody. Mm-hmm. And he, he can play off of the inflection of your voice to yeah, know like, if it oh. should be a, oh, yeah. or a, oh, okay. I'm pretty, pretty good at that. It's crazy. Listening. And then I don't have no idea what some people say. And then afterwards, we're like, but. God, you guys were over there for a while talking. What was that all about? Oh. Wow. They feel better, though. No clue. <laughs> yeah. I helped them. Never thought about it. Yeah, I helped them out, though. <laughs> that would probably be, that would be my answer. Because I, I don't do nothing else. It. You helped them. I don't do you nothing else. Hey, that's my camera you're kicking over there. Oh, shit. See, I'm helping There's you fix it. Yeah, I'm helping you shake a little. <laughs> Whoa. All right, Mr. Everett. Um, I would say live performance. Live performance? Yes, I think. I don't disagree. I think my live performance is better than most. I think I have more fun. In I, public, not in private. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, you said, I said in, in public. In public. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think I can put on a better show than than most people out. And that's, mm. that comes from just understanding yeah. that the, the minimum is not okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not just going up there to play. People aren't there to see me play bass. They're there, they're there to see I me. I could listen to the CD. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. if you're there, if I'm just going to perform, then I'll just sit down and play the bass. It's like, you're there to watch. If you want clean show. everything. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, I'm going to, it's going to be a little dirty. I'm going to screw up, but I'm going to have fun. And you're also going to have fun. And I've never had a show that I've ever played in the last seven, eight years of being in Tijuana that someone's walked away and been like, that yeah, that boring. was boring. They'll be like, yeah, you're." it was so much fun to fun watch. To watch yeah. yeah. It's always what I'm there for. Is it, does it transfer to your gym? Yeah. Have you seen some of his gym promos? They're fun. I'm going to have to go look. You yeah. put them right here. Oh, I don't know. I don't get to make those calls. His gym promos are hilarious because he does a very similar thing where he starts talking about something that has nothing to do with what he's actually talking about. And then he's yeah. like, and come to jujitsu. Yeah. I, yeah. I everyone, mean, everyone I, does jujitsu. It's like, what makes me stand out? Like everyone teaches it and everyone, yeah. like you're, yeah. if you want to train in a I padded agree. room with your friends, you're tough. Like me walking out there going like, Hey, you want to be tough? Come be tough. It's We're like, tough. No. We're the toughest of the toughers. It's like we all. It's like cool. I always think it's just weird how people when they start to do the jujitsu, they it's like oh, it's all we do. Mm. It's like that's dumb. Yeah, it's like have fun. To me, it. that's just takes dumb. over their whole world. Yeah, and it's like I, I, I think I think it's probably made you a better person, you know, mm-hmm. and this and that. But I like it's, that. That's too much for me. Jujitsu definitely. I think in just martial improved arts improved me as a human being. Yeah, but there were also phases of jujitsu where I was so hyper-focused on just jujitsu that other pieces of my world were not doing well. But because I was hyper-focused on jujitsu, I thought, I'm, well, this is, I'm, I'm better. I'm yeah. good. I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. Overall, jujitsu uh, improved my mental health, improved my physical health. Obviously. I mean, it helps but in all ways. It's when uh, it, the, the, the opposite side of that is when you... When you see the jujitsu players who, anytime they get a new belt, everything they own becomes that color. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Everything, like their personal life. Their, yeah. If you're pur- especially purple belts. Pur- it's always purple belts. Purple <laughs> belts. It's always purple belts. <laughs> purple belts, man. As soon as someone gets a purple belt, yeah. I mean, they paint their car. Yeah. It's <laughs> like Prince walking in. It's. I, I don't. I don't necessarily hang out with a bunch of people outside of the fighting because I don't want to always just talk about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't have a, like, oh, did you see this? Uh, No, no, I didn't. I I don't, and I don't care. Yep. (laughs) It's, there's so much world. Yeah. Yeah. So much world. Yeah. Unless you own a gym, then there's. I mean. Yeah. If you. Tiniest piece of. (laughs) The tiny piece of world, but it's all right. But I feel like that the, those kind of promos make people want to go, oh, they're having fun. It's not kill everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could go to pretty much any gym in the metro area and they would invite me in to at least come and roll for the day and hang out. I go to Troy's gym when I want to just go and know that it, 
A, the jujitsu is going to be good. Mm-hmm. B, the people are going to be very pleasant. I've never rolled there and went, that guy's kind of a dick. Yeah. Like not one person has ever been crap to me at Troy's gym. I've been to several gyms where I'm like, <laughs> okay. I mean, you could walk into the door and be like, oh, it's going to be one of those days. Okay. Yeah. You don't even have to get on the mat. Sure. You can walk into the gym and you're like, oh, hi, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah. Um, then I rolled at your gym, Nogi, every time for a, multiple times that I went there. Yeah. And none of his jujitsu people were either A, trying to bully or B, trying to sand. But they just, they just roll. Yeah. It's a good time. Hmm. And then I tell him that I'm a white belt because <laughs> I weigh 205 now. I like to sandbag. And I'm fat. <laughs> I like that you're fat at 205 and I'm 225 right now. Dude, I'm like 5'8 in shoes. <laughs> Big old shoes. <laughs> <laughs> shoes with some help. <laughs> yeah, some some hefty boys. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I'm tired. <laughs> Me too, but <laughs> I think for different reasons. <laughs> yeah, I walked Yeah. down the stairs to get in here. That is tough. Yeah. You got a lot of stairs. It, I was in the best shape ever when I rolled all the time. I get you in great shape. Not even when when I was fighting, I was in good shape, but that was like forced. Yeah. When I just coached and and went and trained, I would be like one seventy five, one eighty if I was heavy, but I felt like I was athletic. That's where strength and athleticism for me kind of hit that yeah. that cross point, and I you know I could run, I could jump. I went to my friend's parkour gym and I did flips and I, I didn't feel that. like I was going to die. Nice. But I was, I was in jujitsu shape and jujitsu shape is probably better shape than yeah. just about any other sport unless you're like a swimmer yeah. or a marathon. I think only or yeah, that or wrestler. Yeah, I think, that, I think yeah. that I think that that's the, you know, that's what I tell people for fighting. I, like go wrestle. That, yeah. Go, you want to get strong? Go hold somebody down. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because everybody's like, I got to do strength and condition. It's like, well. Oh, they got it every Saturday, open mat, go. Yeah. You know? I did not lift weights my entire fight career. No. you. Some of the strongest people are grapplers. Yeah. You made me puke yeah. most weekends during my entire fight career. And I never lifted. Like, he would make me so tired and just die. Like, that gagging from being mm-hmm. exhausted. And he used to just sit in there and laugh and drink his coffee. I, that's what I do now, too. too. You still love well, it? Well, so, yeah, they're, they're like, hey, you, got, you want to move around and spar? No, I don't want to spar. Yeah, no. I know. I no. want you to spar. No, you can, you too. I'd like, mm-hmm. no. I'm chilling. Or conditioning. Yeah. I would walk in on a Saturday for just private conditioning, and he would, he'd, he'd have been there for like 35 minutes already, just thinking of torture devices that he could make up in the gym. Well, He's like, I'm pretty good at I want to put these weights on your stomach. And then I want you to crab walk up these <laughs> stairs backwards. Yeah. I'm pretty good at, like, once I see you a few times, I know where you, most people's weak spots are. It's like, oh, and oh, you, you don't want to do this. Okay, that's all we're going to do now. That's it. That's it. Mother Cabrini. Oh, yeah. That's it. We haven't done that in a long time. I have not done that in a long time. It's far. <laughs> For Trevor now. Yeah. My, uh, my list Still has his name on it from the Mother Cabrini days. Oh, nice. Red lipstick. That's Those those ones are good days. We haven't done that in so long. No, I wanted to murder you the entire time. <laughs> <sighs> so, yep. putting on a show. Yes. Putting on a show. Putting oh, on a show. Help, helping, 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 helping. Listening to, listen, I shouldn't, Li- I shouldn't even, yeah. I shouldn't even say listening. No, he said hearing. helping people. At yeah, helping oh, yeah. people, but I will hear you. Won't I won't, might not listen to you. But I'll hear you. But you will feel like I listen to you, everything, and, like I, and you will feel better when I'm gone. You remember not. Fantasy Factory with Rob Deerdick? Of course. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. What? What do you? I'm a facilitator. <laughs> what was his name? Uh, the big cat. Big cat. Yeah. Yeah. They they set him up to make him make him look because he didn't. They were trying to get him to describe his job and what does he do? I'm, he's a like, I'm a facilitator. I'm a facilitator. If you need something done, I, I facilitate. <laughs> That's what I felt like that answer was. I'm a facil- I, I facilitate. I help people. I do, I do everything. I help people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Everything. Hey. Except sandwich making. Mike's really good at helping uh, people. Hey. 
No we, sandwich making, but we everything cannot else nail down a specific of what he will help you at. But he's, he's, he's helping. Created help. He's helping. I, I, I answered a so, phone call last night at two a.m. for a fighter. I help. I, I help. Uh, yeah, I'd be. My phone. I'm my phone. Through that shit. My phone never goes off, ever. You you woke up to vibrate. Never. No, it's on ring. You had ring. Yes. Good. My phone never goes off. Your phone rings. Yeah. Well, unless, unless I'm in, unless I'm in here. But as soon as I leave here, it on rings ringer? on. Oh, yep. yeah. I don't even know what my sound, my yeah. phone, phone yeah. sounds if like. If I put it on sound for some reason, I'm like, what is? Whose that? phone is? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, who's that person? Yeah. I, yeah. People. Yeah. Hmm. My phone never goes off. So sometimes I don't like if ring I hear. But it, like if I'm doing something and the text goes through, that's why sometimes I won't respond because I don't hear the bing because I'm busy. No Pavlovian response? No, yeah. <laughs> bing. Start salivating. Yeah. Uh, I wear a watch, and that's the only reason I know anything happens on my phone. Nice. I would, I, man, and I've thought about getting I one. Can ignore. You have one, Troy? No. No. Oh, okay. no. Okay. My wrists are too small. I can ignore. It's just a... B- b- and it could be a phone call. It could be an email. It could be a text message. It could be whatever. Someone tagged me yeah. on Vague Book. Yeah. So none of them have enough weight for me to actually yeah. look. And then I'll go look and I'm like, ugh. Damn it. A lot of things. I yeah. just want to respond to these random text messages. 303 578 8680. If you wanna if you wanna ask me a question via text, uh, nothing creepy, please, because that's kind of weird. Yeah, like creepy. That's for yeah, his personal number. Yeah, don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't. But I'll respond. Yeah. I've been having text conversations lately. We do have one voicemail, and it's from, um, it's from, a person who's been a fan of the bounty hunting show and fans of, um all of us from there for a very long time, but she's converted over and is now uh, a fan of the podcast, okay. which is great. Great. We're trying to convert people. Um, we need more people yeah. who understand that we do a podcast now and yeah. not when you're going to go back to bounty hunting. Are you putting up any more bounty hunting videos? Um, when do you guys start filming the next season of the bounty hunting show? The answer to all that is not happening. Yeah. We're doing a podcast. Come on and join us. It's yeah. fun. We could do an hour and seven minutes of uh, forgetting that we have topics. No problem whatsoever because we just did that. We'll just speed run some topics. Um, I'll give you guys a topic to think about while we play this. If you could have one superpower, don't, don't answer until we're done. Okay. If you could have one superpower, what would that superpower be? Okay. And let's see. We need to go to the voicemails. And This is from uh, Maddie. Good afternoon. Let's see. As a comment, um, you guys are doing great. I love the, actually, I got to say it. I'm sorry, girls stick with girls, but definitely the camera switching from station to station when you're talking, amazing. Um, Keeping us updated with the fights and UFC and MMA and all that good stuff. The other knuckles is great, and you know that I like it myself. Um, give us a little bit more feedback on everyday life. I mean, it's not good for you to stay home, Trevor. Yes, it's cold up there, and it's warm down here. Sorry, but get out there. Not good for you. All right? Um Mike, you're doing great, too. It looks like you're um, very good, too. You're actually doing podcasts as well. So I'm wishing you both good luck. Um, I did send um, Trevor a video with Melvin Gillard. Um, obviously, he is going back and hyping up again this year. So coming up, hopefully we'll know he does great. Um Florida was Florida was not the good place for him. Definitely not. Too much of a party animal that animal he is. Um, other than that, I gotta say you guys are doing great. Ideas I I can't come to one right now, but everyday life and everyday subjects that doesn't have to be politics. Just the updating, the timing is perfect that you guys are doing. I love it. Keep it up. You got my support. And, of course, always a, a member. 
Take care. It is Maddie and Bella and um, Greg. All right. So that's Maddie. Maddie. Maddie's a big uh, fan from Florida. She, um, she's followed the show for a long time. I'm glad she converted over. Yeah. Uh, gave me zero compliments. Loves Kay Miller's editing and thinks Mike's doing a great job. He's helping her out. Hey. We're, we're Best in the world. Best. Best helper. Best helper. The only thing we could have done is asked for a Vinny update in there, and then everything would have been yeah. perfect. Yeah. It would have been status quo. I could have just been yeah. playing yeah. over here. Yeah. Um, you're Kay the, Miller you're the facilitator. To, Kay Miller said we need to adjust the live camera somewhere. Um, we'll do that next time because none of us are going to touch it. Yeah. So, superhero. If you could have one superpower, Troy, you're first. Um, ability, like the Wolverine healing factor. Oh, I didn't think about that one. Son of a yeah. Healing factor? Okay. Yeah, Wolverine, how you can just... Anything happen? He just. I'm, yeah. I'm not a com. I have no idea. Wolverine. I, he, he wants if you shoot him or like cut, cut his him, arm off, he'll, he'll he just regenerates. Oh, yeah. he like oh, heals that, oh, instantly. That's a, that's a pretty good heals yeah. instantly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mine. Mm -hmm. Night vision. I, I I have to see what's going on out there. I have to. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah, super. Supervision. Supervision. He'd like to be super. I, I like to see helping well, people. Well, he I like to, to see, see that. Yeah. He has I have to facilitate of all everything. of the superpowers that are out there. I just. Yep. What's yours, Trevor? Uh, helping people yeah. at night. Super helper. <laughs> I want to be a super helper. Super at night, so I can yeah. see. Did you really go with night? Of all of them, I've always wanted night vision. I've always uh, yeah. wanted to see at night. Always since I've been sense. little. Yeah. Like like full daytime yeah, I, or like just like night vision goggles. I, like okay. if you no. want to see like this all the time. If yes. If okay. you're awake. Yes. But then at night when you sleep like time is dark. No, see like when this. you sleep though. Yeah. Oh, when I sleep, yeah, my eyes dark. are closed, dark. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you open them and it's just no matter you what don't time need light bulbs nope, ever. Ever. Oh, that's cool. Ever. Worst superpower ever. <laughs> what what um I think I would go with invisibility. Very creepy answer. There's so many things you could do. That's what I'm saying. Very, but you, but it's not good answer. for you because you wouldn't Can leave. Can you turn it on and off? or? Uh... Yeah, you have to be able to turn it on. You're not okay. just invisible forever. You're not like the invisible man. Yeah, you're right, though, Mike. It's you terrible for leave. me because being invisible yeah. at my own house is pretty boring. You're like, oh, cool. <laughs> but yeah. no, it would work for me because then I could go in public. I could not be in public. And not really. Yeah. But, but okay, to... so if you pick up the cup. I'm buying the cup. Does it turn invisible? Because if it doesn't, then that's I don't dumb. know. I don't know the particulars on invisibility. But when in he just wants to all walk the superheroes naked in public. No, I, I, no, I'd wear. I'm not big enough to walk naked anywhere. Well, if you're invisible, um, no one can see it. But just in case. Oh, uh, so you're just a floating <laughs> pair of underwear. That's what I'm saying. But that's the thing. When invisible people walk around, they're clothed, and their clothes become invisible. So then maybe the cup does too. Oh, maybe. Because yeah, it would be pointless to be invisible. Pick this up, and I'm. But then. Uh, would the street that you're touching be invisible? Uh, that's where's the line? Yeah, wh where's, where's the, the line? line? Yeah, yeah. Then are we all just invisible? Yeah, is everyone just invisible? Because we're connected. That's true. Unless I'm floating. So then you'd have the ability to float. That's so two that superpowers. Would be, yeah, mm -hmm. doesn't count. Either that or teleportation. Teleportation. That would be cool. Yeah. Because I hate how like travel. Yeah. Is like stealing time. Yeah. Would it be just you lose? You could go. That anywhere? should just be. A, that should always just be a default teleportation. Uh, yeah. Default superpower. Just you should be able to do that because I traveling. Call, it, traveling is like life tax. Mm. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. It's going to take you that long, and you can really do nothing productive yeah. in that amount of time. You just lose. That You're time. stuck there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we talked about teleportation a couple episodes ago because I brought up a movie called The Fly. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, which he'd never seen, never heard of. Um, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, never seen it, but I definitely know what it is. Where he built a pod that he could teleport yeah. his body over there, but then a fly was in oh, the yeah. pod, and then yeah. it became yeah. Slowly started to turn into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so you got to make sure that that's clean. Yeah, of course. Are well, you going in a pod? It's not just like a. Oh, no, I thought I, I thought you just yeah you just. I like would rather just be able about to go it, just, yeah, no, like from here to there. Is it to anywhere? Or is it just the places you've been? I think it's just it should be to anywhere. Oh, that's like that movie. Yeah. Jumper. Yeah. Like, can you? If you've been there, you can teleport there anytime. He was smart and went and looked in the vaults at the banks, yeah. and then he could teleport into the vault and and then teleport home. Yeah. Smart man. Teleportation. Teleportation. I mean, flying would be cool. Yeah, 
I'd rather teleport. For a while. Than fly. I'd rather teleport, yeah. Teleport. For a while. I mean, then flying, then you're still like, it's flying. You still got to fly. It's cold outside. I know. You got to watch out for birds. Planes. Yep. All that. Stuff. Drones. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's a tough one. I contacted a guy who's going to um, completely redo that airsoft rifle for you upstairs. Oh. Nice. Where's he at? I don't know what that looks like, but that's cool. No, it looks you play airsoft just... ever? No, I haven't. It looks just. It looks like, like an M4. A, exactly, oh, okay. and it's That's cool. Just as heavy. Oh damn! It's not. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do in the spring. Nice. Well, because we were uh, we were do it tomorrow, but it, he won't leave, and it's cold. So. <laughs> yeah. You gotta wait till next year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Man. I don't. Cold is cold, dude. I've been in Florida for like four years. Yeah. But if you run around, years. blood gets warm. You start warming up. It's still cold. Yeah, it's still outside too. When your hands are cold and you hit your hand on something. Don't hit your hand on it. The worst feeling ever. Let me shoot you with an airsoft BB in your hand when it's 32 degrees. And it, well, you, there's or, a difference. You say hit your hand on something. Let me, or, either one. <laughs> either hey, one. Shoot me or we hitting stuff. What, yeah, what's going on here? Same thing. <laughs> wait a minute. Bong, and it, oh, God, there's nothing, nothing worse than cold. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's probably like getting shot with a real gun. Wind, be worse. wind and cold together. Yeah. That's worse than cold. Someone stabbing you in the neck would probably be worse. Yeah, for a very short period of time. Yeah, that's true. Well, like not in like a, like just a small stab. Oh, I'd rather get stabbed than be cold. No way. Yeah, yeah no, that's crazy. I no hate, way. Oh, dude, I hate it. Stabbed in the neck or just stabbed in general? Like if someone ne- stabbed nowhere. you in the shoulder. Well, you said just a little. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Not in the balls. Right. No, well, they're no. useless. You already told me they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> you already told me they, they have don't no exist. Yeah, they're, so they're, they're, but no. I'd, I'd rather, rather get. St- I'd rather get a little t- than be like outside freezing cold. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I'd. Mm. Yeah, in like a blizzard outside. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you on that. No. I'd rather take a little stab. Yeah. That, that checks out. What are the questions you got there? You guys want one more? Yeah. Okay. Before we leave. What, what is something that is expensive? Irritatingly expensive, but worth it. Groceries. <laughs> Life. This is my friend Mike Gonzalez. <laughs> because I told you last week that I love the grocery store. If I, love I it. if I, I was going to describe the color vanilla, <laughs> groceries. It would be every answer that Mike came up with today. <laughs> Help people. Help people. See at night. How many times do you go buy groceries? You're like, what the? Every time. I don't know that they're ridiculously expensive. I mean, they're not cheap. I don't think. I haven't. Okay, so we're talking. We're talking. We're talking. Six hundred dollars, regardless. Delivery fee, all that sort of stuff. He's he's in. Okay, so maybe that's why you don't see it. So you're talking if you're if this was a thousand dollars, that ridiculous? Well, whatever. Like something that you have paid for or would pay for. Knowing that it's expensive, but no matter what the cost is, you're gonna it's just, buy it. It's worth it to you. I've been really into uh, arcade games recently, like, like stand up. Yeah, like buying them for my house, and those are expensive, but they're cool as shit. So I yeah, like those. Donkey Kong. No, I got uh, NBA Jam, and then uh, oh, that's a cool game. Golden Tee, and then a bunch of Ooh. other. So well, that's yeah. cool. So I need to get Golden Tee. Yeah. Then we could do tournaments. Do you have it hooked up and everything? Like, oh, wow, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, I got both of those set up at my house right now. So, yeah. They're expensive, but that's w- an answer. Worth it. Mine was an answer, too. Not even close. I want one of the. I want an actual answer now. The Buck Hunters, you know? Buck Hunter, yeah. But that, that, I love that game. I could play that for hours. Yeah, that's, that's the next one I want. What's mine? Mm-hmm. Man, I. I don't. I, that I I don't know because I don't buy it if it's too expensive. I'm just like I don't need it. I don't need it that bad. I need groceries. I need to eat, and I love the grocery store. I love. I can go to the grocery store every day. What's yours? What's yours? Yeah. What's yours? Um. Right now, it's just about anything in VR. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's Games are expensive. Things are expensive. But like, I'm getting ready to upgrade my VR. That whole world. I that whole world it. is expensive. I love it. Have you played the new Arkham game on there? No. Oh, neither have I. Just... I play golf a lot. Nice. On it, it just recently did an update, and this I mean, 
it lends to my inability to connect with the outside world. But I put a chair up in my bedroom. The new Netflix app and YouTube app on my VR is maybe the most fucking awesome thing. Is that where you like sit in the chair? I'm like sitting in a chair. Like there's an actual chair in my op- upstairs yeah. in the bedroom that I, I sit in. Put my VR on and you can stretch the screen to whatever size you want. So basically I sit in my room and I can watch Netflix on a movie screen. Mm. It appears no, that large. I, I don't know what, what, what should, is that, that the brand it's called? Quest, uh, it's uh, the Meta Quest 2 yeah. is the one oh, I have. So I have those. Yeah. Right? I do have those. Valor has the new Apple one, which is twice as, it's way. Oh, it, and that's like the augmented reality yeah, too. Where you is, can like oh, see yeah, through. Wow. Yeah, that is wild. So that there's is, a new game. As soon as you guys leave today, I'm going to download it. I thought that's what you were talking about. Because I'm no. surprised you don't have that. I want it. I'm waiting to, <laughs> for generation two. Oh. Because it just seems like if you... Yeah, I've, I work the kinks out. Yeah. I've yeah. got bitten many times by buying first that uh, first version yeah, of whatever yeah. comes out. And then it just... It's not... It's not... It made me want one. But I'm like... That was, that was a ridiculous version one. Version two. Because I'm like, that's not worth that much. I, I will buy version two. If it gets to that point and... Then I, I know. I think I'm good with my, my Oculus. There's a new there's a new thing on Oculus, new to me. It's not new to everybody else, I'm sure. Um, it's their new augmented reality, um, games and and but, so now you put your Oculus on, and it has pass through vision, so you can walk around your house, but it creates augmented reality, so it turns things into your house into other things like you can walk through an old west like your house becomes like an old west Mm -hmm. canteen or whatever and i think today i'm probably um gonna connect the extended battery and i'm just gonna walk around my house in different things different places that sounds cool i I guess but (laughs) if you if you are if you are slightly a, a recluse at all it's terrible. Don't get it because yeah. it gives you every reason to never go in public again. Yeah. But you can also you can also buddy chat and stuff. Like if you had a VR a, a, a quest. Yeah. And I so have I, a, I can I can talk to you. We could watch a movie together. Mm. Huh. From our own homes. In the big ass like and we could have a conversation while the movie's on. But we both just see the movie in a big hundred foot screen. That's cool. Which makes it even easier to never have to to never go anywhere. Yeah. I also play, dude. I'm oh, I'm gonna need help. <laughs> see, I'm helping you here. Listen, you're you're realizing that you. I probably <laughs> need to get a therapist. Because the things that I do, I play um, a GTA. Nice. Five M role yeah. play server. Yeah. I probably spent six hours last night. Oh, wow. Dang. And it's like... It, but that goes the, quick, though. The only it? way I can describe it is it's like having a second life. Yeah. Because you create a character, you have to be that character. And in the, the city I play in, there's a link to our Discord in the description if you guys want to come. Pat plays there. I play there. Harvey plays there. Raven's in city some. Kristen makes fun of me for being in city all the time. Um, but you create... It's, it's GTA... So it's the GTA map and all the jobs and everything, but it's a role play server. So everybody in there has to create a character with a backstory. And then anytime you are in the city, you have to be in character. Hmm. So like I am the, the gang leader of a gang called the professionals. I can't go in there and just like want to walk around and meet people and be like, hi, my name is Trevor. Yeah. You have to be your character. All the time. Hmm. You better like yourself then. (laughs) But now that I'm thinking, like I spent a lot of time in there and I love it. So come and join. It's fun. Discord's right there. I I need some more people in my game. Come Come on. Come on down. Come on down. Um, Now I want to walk around an augmented reality in my house. The detachment is getting weird. Yeah. You're never going to go outside again. The detachment is getting weird. I, I I literally know that I could not go outside for months. The only reason that I need to go outside is because I have to start be being more thoughtful and more um, 
understanding of my wife's time and needs because she likes to go do things. And she works her butt off to plan things around whether or not she thinks I will go in public. Mm. And I need to be better. I need to just be like, hey, I'm here for you. I'm, you know, whatever it is. Same team. She's doing a photo shoot, a Christmas photo shoot right now, which she probably really would have appreciated me being there. So, there's that. That's what I got. Sounds fun. Anything else? With that, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye.